Your first step is to plan a quilt layout. Access the layout dialog box by clicking on the layout icon in your edit toolbar. The quilt layout dialog box opens and you can choose the format of your quilt. You can choose rectangular, diamond, or on point layouts. The software automatically updates the diagram as you make your selection. Next, choose the number of blocks across the quilt and down the quilt. You can also change the width of the block and the height of the block. And these are all finished sizes and the quilt dimensions will update based on your measurements. There are five different sashing styles or you can choose to have no sashing on your quilt design. You can also change the width of the sashing. Again, the software is updating the final size. If you wish to add a border, click on Add, and the software automatically adds a one inch mitered border, but this can be changed. There are five types of borders that can be added, and the width of the border can also be changed. If you choose to add another border, you can click on Add, and the border is added outside your original border. You can also delete a border. If you choose insert, the border is added on the inside of your original border. If you choose rectangles for a border, you have some additional controls that let you determine the number of borders around the quilt, both across the quilt and down the quilt as well as the size. When you are finished planning your quilt, you can note the final size in the corner and then click OK. If you press the zero key on your keyboard, the quilt will show in its entirety on the screen. You can also pan across the quilt and move the quilt on the design screen. We'll talk about the zoom icons in a later video.